Thank you, Travis. I appreciate that. And uh, well, I just want to welcome everybody. Uh, can I just go ahead and do a quick uh, audio video check? Can everybody just type in Y, type in yes if you can hear me. I'll make sure that everybody can hear me uh, and you can see the screen before we begin. Uh, great. So thank you, Michael, Garth, uh, Jimmy. Great. So I have about an hour's worth of material to squeeze in here in about 45 minutes. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. A quick introduction. My name is William Gallagher. I am one of the senior market analysts here at Market Traders Institute. I am excited and honored to be here with each and every one of you here on this Tuesday morning because today I'll be discussing the Forex market, specifically how you can mimic the Forex experts trading plans and how you can utilize trade setups during the European session. I'm actually going to be going into my charts here in just a moment. I'm actually going to show you trading strategies on how to trade right around what's called the London session in the Forex market here. Now before we begin, a quick housekeeping item because I am going to be going live here. I am going to be teaching you a trading strategy. Uh, just let me let you know. Anything I show you here today, this is uh, only for this presentation here. You should not invest money that you can't afford to lose. I want to let you know the trading does have, does have its own risk involved. Uh, ultimately, your goal is to have your, uh, keep your profits high while having minimal losses as you're going along. Now, once again, it is recommended you go through the entire education, you learn the trading strategy in its entirety, and you begin trading as an educated, knowledgeable trader. Now, once again, everything I show you here today, do not take this as investment advice. I will walk you through a trading strategy, show you a couple of examples, but when you do decide to trade live, that's going to be your decision to make and yours and yours alone. Now, I'm actually going to show you today how you can actually follow live professionals live as they're doing this here. Now, a quick introduction to who I am. Uh, once again, my name is William Gallagher. I am from Market Traders Institute. A little bit about my background. I have been involved in trading in the investment market since 1998. I've also worked for several different financial companies and also did help start, launch, and build an entirely new service company from the ground floor up. Now, the reason I mention that is because I know it goes on behind the scenes in the financial world and I know the differences between the markets, stock market, options, forex. I am a multi-class trader. I do take stocks, I do trade options, and the forex. Now, I also am a student of Market Traders Institute. So, as we're going through the web, I remember that, that I was once just brand new, just like you, I was brand new to this as well. Now, uh, for those of you who are not familiar with who Market Traders Institute is, I want to give a quick introduction. Uh, Market Traders Institute, uh, located in Orlando, Florida. In fact, you see the building on your screen right here. Uh, that is actually our building. I'm actually broadcasting live out of that building here this morning. Uh, the neat thing about this is that we actually have students that come to our building on a daily basis. They get trained live in person. Now, Obviously, with this type of trading strategy here, you can do it right from the comfort of your own home. You don't have to come here and get trained live in person. Now, Market Traders Institute has been in the business of training new people on how to trade since 1994. So actually celebrating our 22nd anniversary. We actually have a 22nd anniversary event coming up on Friday. We're happy to excited to celebrate that. Uh, we actually have trained over 30,000 students on how to trade, and that is actually worldwide. Now, uh, some of you might recognize this logo down here in the bottom right-hand corner of my screen, Inc. Magazine. I actually have to report that Market Traders Institute, it was featured on the recent Inc. 5000 list of fastest growing companies in the world. Now, we got there by producing one thing for our students. You see the bottom line is we are getting results for our students in this market. So our success that comes from building successful traders. We do that provide a combination of tools, training, and live in the market mentorship. That's what I'm going to be showing you here today. I can actually get trained live in the live market as the trades are happening here. Now, as you can see here in this letter, we're mentioned in the same breath as GoPro, Under Armour, Microsoft. Now, that's just the name of a few of the companies here that we share this with, but this only continues if we keep delivering those results. And the results I'm talking about, they're simply measured by what shows up in your account statement. I'll actually show you some of the results from our trading session this morning here and what we were able to accomplish here. Now, not only does MTI have some of the best trading strategies, we also have some of the best Forex instructors and analysts in the Forex industry. Uh, one of the specific instructors I'm going to talk to you about, his name is Joshua Martinez. Uh, some of you may have heard of him before, he goes by the name FX Pathfinder. Now, Josh is one of MTI's product, expert, product knowledge experts, and he is one of our Forex masterminds. Now, why am I talking about Josh? I know he's one of our product experts. He's trained thousands of Forex investors around the world. I turned an initial deposit investment of $500, generated over $39,000 in profit from it. He's made thousands of investments. He's a published author, international speaker, a pro analyst, and a four-time trader. Now, the reason I'm telling you this is because he is the gentleman that created the trading strategy and be sharing with you here today. Now, this trading strategy, this has allowed him to do some unbelievable things in this market. Uh, let me pull up his track record here. I uh, can see here when he first started out, and some of you might recognize this. Uh, if you look at your trading account, I wouldn't be surprised if you started off like this. When he first started off trading, he was winning some, he was losing some. He was winning some, losing some. Maybe winning $3, losing 2 and so on as he was going until right here. 
If you look right here, some of you might be wondering, well, William, what happened here? This is what we call a tipping point. In fact, what I'm going to show you today is the trading strategy has been able to assist Josh on finding this tipping point and to help you find your tipping point in this market faster here. Now, Josh, right, using this track record here, he's had days where he's made $4,000 in a day, $8,000 in a day. He's actually told me he made $10,000 in 30 minutes with this trading strategy here. Now, the trade strategy I'm going to be showing you here today. It's called the London Breakout Trading Strategy. This is actually just a small part of what's called our Live Market Forks Mentorship and Trading Club program. We actually have our students that joined this club. They're actually able to trade live with Joshua and our other analysts. His name is Tyson Clayton. I'll introduce you here to him in just a little bit. Uh, but as part of this club, it's very affordable. For less than a dollar a day, you actually can trade live with our professional analysts here. Now, I'm going to go into this here in a little bit. Detail. I just want to explain to you that the London Breakout Trading Strategy that I'm about to bring up right now, this is only just one of the trading strategies we actually teach you as part of this. You actually can get in the live market. You're able to interact with these live professionals and watch them as they're trading live here. Now, uh, you might want to make a note of this. Our next live market analysis session is coming up on this Monday. So those of you that enroll today, You'll be able to start up, hit the ground running next week, actually trading live with our professional analysts here. Now, as I promised you, these are some of the results from our live session this morning. Uh, Josh just sent this to me uh, about an hour or so ago. Uh, we were able to capture 91 pips in 90 minutes just this morning with this live trading session. I'm actually going to teach you this trading strategy here and show you how we were able to do this here in just a second. But before we jump in, what I'd like to do is I don't want to spend a lot of time explaining what the Forex market is if a lot of you here in the room already know what it is. So if everybody could just quickly look at the screen before I pull up my charts, I kind of type in, let me know, number one, if you're brand new, you have no idea what the Forex market is. I type in number two if you have a little bit of experience. I uh, Number three, if you're already in the market, you are live, you know what's going on here. So if I have a lot of number ones, I'm going to spend a a little bit of time explaining what it is. If I have a lot of number threes, I'm just going to jump right in here. So, okay, so it looks like okay, I got a lot of, uh, I had one number one. In fact, let me back this up here just a second here. Uh, do I have one? Uh, let's see here. Okay, I got two number ones. Okay, great. I have three number ones here. So it looks like a lot of you are experienced here. So let's go ahead. Let's jump in here. I'm just going to give a quick overview. I'll take a minute here and explain to you what the Forex market is, and we'll jump in here. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with what the Forex market is, it is the largest financial market. There's over $5 trillion that is traded daily in this market. So very large market. Now, another key point, you might want to write this down. It's a very flexible market. There are three trading sessions that go on daily in this market. This is important because the trading strategy I'm going to show you here today, it revolves around these trading sessions because you have the Asian trading session, the London, and the U.S. trading session. These sessions, they overlap. So what that means, you actually trade this market 24 hours a day, five and a half days a week. So that's the neat thing about this is that I'm going to show you a trading strategy that takes advantage of the overlaps in these trading sessions here. Now, uh, one of the things I also want to point out is that this market, it allows you to focus. If you trade stocks, options, you know there's over 40,000 different stocks you can watch and trade in the stock market. Well, in the Forex market, there's only about 60 different currency pairs you can watch and trade. Now, the neat thing about this is that because MTI has over 22 years of experience, we're going to teach you and show you which ones to pay the most attention to, and we're also going to show you the trading strategies to trade around them. Now, I'm going to be showing you six currency pairs here today. So we're going to notice down to six currency pairs, then I'm going to show you how to watch and trade around with this London breakout trading strategy here. Now, before we jump in here, let me explain to you what we're trying to do in this market. Ultimately, what we're trying to do in this market is capture what are called PIPs. Now, PIP is an acronym. It stands for Price Interest Point. Now, to make this very simple, let me explain to you how a PIP works. As there are 100 pennies in a U.S. dollar, a penny, it represents one one-hundredth of a U.S. dollar. Most of you probably in the room, you probably understand that, but a PIP it represents one one hundredth of a penny. So just as there are 100 pennies in a US dollar, there are 100 pips in a penny. So if we were looking for a unit of measure smaller than a penny, it would be the equivalent of a pip. Now, let me explain to you how the currency exchange works here. I'm gonna break this down very basic before we jump into this here. Very basically, if you've been to one of these kiosks before, if you've gone to another country, you've probably been to one of these, you know what's gonna happen. Let's just say that we're in the United States, we're going to Canada. We wanna exchange our US dollars for Canadian dollars. We go up to this kiosk. And what we find is that the US dollar is trading against the Canadian dollar at 1.32. So what this means is that one US dollar, it equals 1.32 Canadian dollars. So if we were to give them 1,000 US dollars, 
we would then enter into Canada carrying in with us $1,320. So this is your first basic currency exchange here. What we did is we just traded the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar here. Now, here's the thing. If we come back here, maybe in the morning we went to Canada, it was 1.32. If we come back in the evening, we then can change our Canadian dollars to the US dollars, maybe it goes up to 1.33. So there's a one penny difference here. Here's what happened here. Those 1,000 US dollars are now worth $1,330. So what we had there was coming back here, a $10 increase right there. We ended up making $10 on that move right there. Now, in the Forex market, as I just explained to you, that one penny move, for us here with $1,000, it would have equal $10. In the Forex market, that one penny, that would have equaled 100 pips. Because as I explained to you before, there's 100 pips in a penny here. So let me explain to you what that would be worth in the Forex market. In the Forex market, we use leverage. We utilize leverage here. What is going to happen is your broker, they're going to front you the money on how to do this here. Now, here's the thing. In the United States, we trade with a 50 to 1 leverage. If I have anybody else in the, around the country that might be a little bit different, it might be 100 to 1, it could be 400 to 1, but here in the United States, we trade with a 50 to 1 leverage. All that simply means if we were to invest $20 into a trade, that $20 would be worth uh, it would act like $1,000 with that 51 leverage. Now, we trade in units in the Forex market. You might want to write this down. We have what are called micro lots. This is a $20 investment per tr trade. Now, your broker borrows this investment size. This allows you to place the trade and to generate the pips. Now, with a micro lot, each pip that you capture, it's worth 10 cents. So, on that one transaction right there, if we were actually trading this in the Forex market, those 100 pips, it would be worth $10. Now, we also have what are called mini lots. A mini lot, $200 investment from your trading account. Each pip is worth $1. 100 pips would equal $100. Now, there's also what are called standard lots. A standard lot, it is a $2,000 investment from your trading account. Now, to give you the heads up, a standard lot, that is the standard by which most traders try to achieve. Uh, it's a $2,000 investment from your trading account. Uh, each pip is then worth $10. So, that one penny move right there, it would have equaled 100 pips, it would have been a $1,000 profit on right there. So I'm going to give everybody a quick second to do a screenshot uh, to go ahead and write this down because we're about to jump in. And the reason I explain this to you is because some of you might not be at a standard lot. I'll be using a standard lot as the, the end goal here of what we're trying to achieve here, but some of you might be trading micro lots, some of you might be trading mini lots, and some of you might be trading standard lots, depending on your account side and what your broker will allow you to do here. So what I'm going to do right now is let's go ahead, let's jump into our charts. We're doing really good on time right now, but what I'd like to do is let me explain to you the London breakout trading strategy here. Now, as I explained to you, there are three major trading sessions that go on in this market. You have the Asian, the London, and the U.S. session here. So what we're going to do is we're going to explain to you a trading strategy where we're going to trade around that London session here. Now, there's going to be six currency pairs that we're going to be utilizing during this London session. You might want to write these down. They're the Great British Pound, Canadian Dollar, GBP, CAD, Great British Pound, U.S. Dollar, GBP, USD, Great British Pound, JPY, Great British Pound, uh, Japanese Yen, uh, Great British Pound, Swiss Franc, GBP, CHF, uh, Great British Pound, New Zealand Dollar, the Kiwi, JBP, GBP, uh, NZD, and the Great British Pound, Australian Dollar, the Aussie here. So uh, if you have a quick second to write these down, we're going to go ahead, let's pull up our charts here. And one of the things I'll explain to everybody is that our goal, our goal with each one of these currency pairs is we're going after 50 pips per day. It's kind of first base. As, you show, as I showed you there, I think Josh was trading the uh, Great British Pound Australian dollar on that trade. He, he captured 91 pips. I'm just going to simply show you a simple trading strategy where we can get in first base and we're going to capture 50. In the live trading sessions, Josh, Tyson, they'll actually show you how you can go after more pips on each one of these trades here. So what I want to do is let's go ahead, let's jump into our charts. I'm going to grab a quick sip of water. If everybody could just type in Y, type in yes when you in fact see the uh, charts on your screen because I'm just going to go ahead. We're I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to teach you this trading strategy. So I'll be going to second sign here for a second. Everybody can just let me know when you see the charts. Okay, great. Thank you, Lewis, Garth, Jimmy, Jay. Great. So uh, we're doing really good on time right now. We're way ahead of schedule. So I'm going to be able to spend some time here and I'm going to be able to walk you through this. So as I mentioned before, we're going to be looking at six different currency pairs. The pound Canadian dollar, the pound yen, the pound Aussie, the pound Swiss franc, pound US dollar, and the pound pound New Zealand dollar. Now, one of the first things you're going to notice here, somebody, <clears throat> excuse me, 
excuse me, I'm experienced traders here, you're going to see we are on a one hour time frame. Now, what do I mean by that? In fact, I'll just go ahead and let me click on the uh, pound Canadian dollar here. What I mean by a one hour time frame, uh, those of you who are not familiar with a candlestick chart, each one of these candlesticks here, it represents what the market has done during that one hour. Now, I'm not going to go into a lot of time explaining to you for those of you that don't understand this, but all you really need to know is that the dark blue candles mean that the market went down during that hour, and the white candles mean that it went up. Dark brown are called bearish, the dark blue are called bull, or the dark uh, the dark blue are bearish, the white ones are called bullish here. So uh, another thing you're going to need to know is that in the market, the market's going to be moving in waves just like this, moving waves just like this here. You know, we teach trading strategies of how to trade around this, but we're going to be looking for spikes in the market revolving around this trading session here. Now, I got a couple of you, in fact, I know some of you are probably wondering this right now. William, can you use this trading strategy on other trading, on, on other currency pairs? I have personally used this on other currency pairs. I have my own trading strategy that I do on different currency pairs, but for the London breakout trading strategy, you're going to want to know these six currency pairs and the one hour time frame. Just want to explain to you that. Josh Tyson, they might do a little bit different. They might have some little different trading strategies when you actually go into live market, but I'm at least show you the basics right now. I'm going to show you the basics, how to get on first base collecting 50 pips. They'll take it from there and they'll actually teach you live how to do all this here. So what I want to do is I'm going to come in here and we're going to demonstrate this on the Great British Pound New Zealand dollar here. Now let me explain to you what we're going to be looking for here. Let me go ahead and pull this back here. Let's pull this back down here just like this here, and uh, we'll go ahead and here. Let me explain to you that, once again, there are three major trading sessions that go on in this market. You have the London session, you have the Asian session, and you have the U.S. trading session here. Now, what's going to happen is that the London session and the U.S. sessions, they are going to overlap. So what we're looking for is directional movement coming off of these directional movements that are in uh, off of these sessions here. So what I'm going to do is let's come in here, I'm going to draw some lines and explain to you what we're going to be looking for in this market here. What we're going to be looking for is for the market to pull back, I draw this right here, as I mentioned the market's going to move in waves, we're going to be looking for the market to pull back and form either its high or its low for the morning between 2 a.m., 2 o'clock a.m., Eastern Time and 5 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time. So you might want to write this down. Now the reason for this is what's happening right now is you have the close of the Asian trading session and you have the beginning, the opening of the London trading session. So what we're going to be looking for is directional movement coming off of this. If the market pulls back and forms its low, we're going to be looking for the market to rally up. If the market forms its high, we're going to be looking for the market to pull back during this time period here. Now what's going to happen is we're going to get that directional movement and then what we're going to look for is our opposite high or low for the day. This is going to be between 8 o'clock a.m. Eastern Time and 2 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Now the reason for this is because you're going to have the the closing of the London trading session, the opening of the U.S. trading session. So we're going to be looking for this directional movement happening between those two sessions right there. Now, here's what we already explained to everybody, is that this directional movement here, what we have found is that each one of these six currency pairs, it has what's called the average daily trading range. We found the average daily trading range on each one of these currency pairs is a minimum of 50 pips, and it goes up to and over 200 pips per day. So what we're going to be looking for is a minimum of 50 pips directional movement in either direction. If the market pulls back and forms its low, we're going to be looking for a minimum of 50 pips direction going up. If the market rallies and forms its high, we're going to be looking for a pullback of 50 pips on the minimum here. Now, once again, to give you an idea of the type of profits off of that, if you were trading a micro account, oops, a micro account, which each pip, one pip equals 10 cents, that means if you capture 50 pips, 50 pips, oops, sorry about that, that would equal, I'm sorry, oops, $5, apologize for that. If we're trading a mini lot account, one, pip 
equals one dollar. So that 50 pips would equal fifty dollars. And with a standard lot, one pip is equal to ten dollars. So 50 pips would equal five hundred dollars minimum. So once again, we're looking to go after a minimum of 50 pips per currency pair per day, just like that. Now, why does this happen here? Why does this happen? It's been found that during that London session, the European market, it's processing the largest bulk of the foreign transactions, so the banks are processing their orders. This provides this huge injection of volume in this directional movement we're looking for. So the trading strategy I'm going to show you here today is to give you an idea the ability to take advantage of this directional movement here. So what I want to do, if everybody has this written down, everybody has this written down, what I want to do is let's go ahead, let's bring this down here into the market. And what I want to do is I've pointed this out here. Now what we're going to be looking for, let me bring this down right about here. I'm going to squeeze this just a little bit. I've already come in here and I've highlighted a couple of these here. In fact, let me bring this up just a little bit right there. Now, somebody's just asking what this is. This is called the London Breakout Strategy. The London Breakout Trading Strategy. Now, around the close, the close of the 3 o'clock a.m. candle is what we're looking for here. So essentially, effectively, we're going to be starting at 4 o'clock a.m., but we're looking for the close of this 3 a.m. candle. So what I've done is sort of come in here, I've already labeled these out, going back over the course of the month here. Now, everybody can see here, here was our 3 a.m. candle directional movement going down. In fact, let me change the color of that. Let's change the color. Let's make that orange just like that. Uh, here's our next 3M candle on the 9th, directional movement going up. Uh, here we go, 3 o'clock a.m. going up, uh, 3 o'clock going down, 3 o'clock going up, 3 o'clock going down, 3 o'clock going down, up, and it's going to bring me to the first candle, what I'm going to show you right here. Now, some of you might be wondering, why are we starting off with the 3 o'clock candle? This is based on what Josh, Josh is the creator of this program, he basically felt that the 3 o'clock candle, that's the candle that gives us this pivot, and we'll be looking for this directional movement here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in here. I'm going to start off with this 3M candle here on the 18th. We're going to go back about a week or so. Uh, there's a reason I'm doing this, and I'm going to bring it to the live market here in just a second, but let's zoom in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this. Let me bring this down here just a little bit, move this out of our way. And actually, I'm going to zoom in here. Let's zoom in here nice and tight. Okay, so here's our 3 o'clock a.m. candle on the 18th. Now, to figure out, to get an idea of which direction the market's going to pop, we're going to utilize this strategy here. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come in here, and we're going to place two pending orders. We're going to place one pending order 10 pips above this high right here. So we're going to come in here. Uh, let's see here, 48. So we're going to set this at 58 right about there. Let's change the color of that. Let's make that green. There we go. So let me type this out for everybody. We're going to have an entry buy. We're going to have an entry buy and it's going to be plus 10 pips above the high of that 3 a.m. candle. So we set one pending order, 10 pips above the high. We're going to set another pending order so another pending order, five pips below the low. So we'll come in here 73. So we'll set this at 60, right about there. So that's about, <coughs> excuse me. This is going to be our entry cell, and that's going to equal minus five pips below the Low. Now, some of you might be wondering why five pips above a high, why, a ten, why ten pips above, why pips, five pips below. Uh, Josh and Tyson will be explaining this in a little bit more detail. This is the trading strategy here. So, uh, once again, these are pending orders. We're not in the market until the market either rallies up and triggers that entry buy or pulls back and triggers this entry sell. So, for those who are wondering, well, how do we determine which way is the market going to pop? We're using this trading strategy strategy right here. So uh, Brian asks, is it 3 a.m. East Coast? Yeah, Brian, this is 3 a.m. We're looking for the close of the 3 o'clock a.m. 
Eastern Time. So this is in the U.S. right here. Now, uh, once again, they'll be able to help you. They'll be able to help you determine in the live sessions where your 3 a.m. candle is here. So effectively, it's now 4 o'clock. We have our pending orders set up. And uh, Carl, I'm going to answer that here in just a second. Right now, we're using this train strategy to determine direction. We're not actually in the market just yet. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see what happens here. Now, the next candle, within the next hour, the market rallies up and triggers our entry buy. So what this is telling us right now, it's giving us an educated opinion that we believe the market's going to pop in this direction here. So that's how we're going to use this here. We're using this trading strategy here to help us to predict which direction the market's going to pop. So at this point right now, that entry buy gets triggered. This is now a market buy. Meaning that we are now in the market, we're going long on this position right here. So we're in the market buying into the market right there. Let me delete these here. Now, the first order of business, the first order of business, we're going to come in here and cancel this opposite order. We're not looking to sell the market because we believe that the market is going up. So first order of business, we got to cancel the entry, the, pre, the opposite order. Next order of business, and Carl, this is going to answer your question right now. The next order of business is to come in here and we're going to set a stop loss. Now, this is a little bit different when we're buying into the market. I'm going to type this out for everybody here. Stop loss, and this is when buying. It's a little bit different when we're selling the market. So stop loss when buying, it's going to go at the low of that 3 a.m. candle right there. So there is our stop loss right there. So we're in the market buying, buying into the market. Our stop loss is at the low of that 3M candle. Now, does everybody remember how many pips minimum we were going after? What's our first base? How many pips are we going after? Yeah, we're going after a minimum of 50 pips. So we're going to come in here and we're going to set this up right about uh, right about there. So 21609. So 216 Zero nine, right there. So that's our target. I'll type that out for everybody. Our target was once again in this case here is going to equal first base. Meaning that once again when you're in the live market and you're doing this with Josh and Tyson, they'll show you how to go after more. Just like we got 91 pips this morning on the uh, pound Aussie here. Now once again that was plus 50 pips. That's our target. Actually, it's a, hold on a second. It's going to be, edit this. it's actually a, a minimum of 50 pips. Because once again, they'll show you trading strategies of how you can go after more as far as trading is here. So we're in the market. Our entry buy got triggered. We're buying into the market. It became a market buy. We cancel the opposite order. Stop loss when we're buying in the market goes at the low. And then our target is 50 pips here. So let's see what happens here. Bam, within the next hour, the market rallies up and we are now out of that position. So we accomplished our goal. We captured those 50 pips here. Now, once again, in the live market, Josh and Tyson, they'll be able to show you how to go after more. So 50 pips in one hour, not too bad. Uh, if you were trading a mini lot, you just made $50 in one hour. If you're trading a standard lot, you just made $500 off of that in one hour right there. So uh, right there, not too bad right there. We just started off right there uh, doing that right there. So let's go ahead in here. I'm going to delete all this. Let's delete all this here. And let me show you another opportunity here. And we'll bring it to the live market. And I'll show you what this has actually done uh, over the last couple of trades here. So let's go ahead. Let's see. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good on time. Okay, so that was on the 18th. Let's bring this up to the next trade here. Now, you'll see in a, reason, in a minute here why I chose these dates on why to do this. So, oops. And there we go. So here's our next 3 a.m. candle. And just so everybody can see, this is on the 19th, uh, 3 o'clock a.m. right there. So let's go ahead. Let's do our strategy here. There's our 3 o'clock candle, the close of the 3 a.m. candle. First step, step number one is we're going to come in here. In fact, let me delete that. Change the color on that. Okay, first step is coming here. We're going to set our entry by 10 pips above this high. So it's going to be uh, 74 right there. And I'll type this out once again for everybody. And the next couple ones I'm just going to write, go through. So entry by is going to equal uh, plus 10 pips above 
the high. Right there. And I apologize if I'm kind of giving you a Cliff Notes version of all this. I really, like I said, I'm trying to squeeze an hour into this here. I'll make sure that everybody gets all the information here. So uh, entry buy is 10 pips above the high, and then our entry sell is going to be 5 pips below the low. So 21609, so we're going to set that at 04 right there. Let me change the color of that. And I will type that out for everybody as well. So entry sell is going to equal minus 5 pips below the low. Okay, so let's see what happens on uh, this one right here. So bam, here's what happens. The market pulls back, triggers our entry sell. So we now have that opinion that the market is going down. So very simple trading strategy to help to predict where the market's going. At this point, we've triggered that entry sell. We believe that the market's going to be going down. That's where we're looking for that, that directional movement now. So let's come in here and delete this just like that. So our entry sell just became a market sell, meaning that we're looking to sell the market right now. And then first order of business, we come in here and we cancel the opposite order. So we're going to cancel that opposite order right there. Now, here's a little bit different here, a little bit different. When we're selling the market, our stop loss is going to go five pips above the high of this candle here. So 216, so we have to set this at right about there. So stop loss when selling the market is going to go plus five pips above the high. So five pips, stop loss when selling is going to go five pips above the high. Now, we are in the market selling, we have our stop loss set. How many pips minimum are we going after? We're going after a minimum of 50 pips. That's first base. So we're going to come in here and let's set this up here. So right about there. So 21555. Five. So 215. And right there. So there's our target. I'll type this out once again. Target, which was just simply first base in this case. Target's going to equal a minimum of plus 50 pips. So there's our target. Now, once again, in the live market, they'll teach you and show you how to go after more. So our entry, stop, our target set. Let's see what happens here. So one, two, three hours later, the market does, in fact, go in our favor, goes in our direction, and we just captured another 50 pips. That was 50 pips, and that was in three hours. Not too bad. Now, once again, mini lot, that would have equaled, a mini lot would have equaled uh, $50 at $1 per pip. Standard lot, that would have equaled another $500 just like that. So uh, before I move forward, is, is everybody getting this? Is everybody understanding what I'm showing you here? I mean, I, this is, I know this is pretty basic. I just want to make sure that everybody is getting this. Uh, once again, I'm just going to kind of give you a Cliff Notes version of this here, be able to show you how to do this here. So, okay, great. So I appreciate that. So let's go ahead. Let's delete this. Let's delete this just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and let's bring this to the live market. Let me show you. That was uh, on the 18th. The 19th. Uh, let me show you a couple of the most recent trades here. So, does everybody see here? Here's our 3 o'clock a.m. candle. Let me zoom in here. We can go ahead. Let's bring this out here. Uh, there's our 3 a.m. candle, and look at that. Look at all that directional movement coming off of that 3 a.m. candle. Uh, 269 pips right there. We probably now for those of you wondering here. Uh, yeah, Simon. Uh, yeah, they actually address that in the live sessions here. Some of you are asking about risk management, that sort of thing. They, 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 I promise you, when you trade live, they're going to show you the proper risk management when you're going through this here. So in a situation like this here, we would have gone after our 50 pips, and they would have showed you how you can sh set your trailing stop to capture additional pips as you're going along here. Uh, here's the, on the uh, 23rd. Uh, let's see here. What do we have here? We had a nice movement there of about 134 pips coming off of that one. Uh, let's see here. 24th. What do we get off of that one? Uh, 77 pips, just like that. Thank you, Travis. And here we go. Oh, look at this one here. This was the 25th. Uh, 253 pips coming off of that one. 
Uh, here's the uh, 3M on, uh, sorry, that was, this was what? This is the 26, I'm sorry, that's the 26 right there. And this one went up and up and up, what, 347 pips? Oops, sorry about that. We have a nice little move of, yeah, 343 pips off of this one. Now, okay, once again, you're not going to win every single trade. You're not going to win every single trade. Look at this one right here. There was our 3 a.m. candle. It went against us here. So, yeah, we were taking a loss on that one. But I think we just won, what, about seven or eight of the last trades. Uh, this one here, actually, this is the one from this morning. This is the one from this morning right here. Uh, this one here, 3 o'clock a.m. this morning. And how do we do on this one? I think we won this one here. Let's see, it rallied up. 83 pips. So we won this one this morning as well here. So that's the neat thing about this is that, once again, now here, here's the thing. One thing you're going to need to know about this. Let me pull this back up so those of you wondering which currency pairs, uh, you might want well to write this down. I'm going to answer some of your questions here. Okay, so you're looking at here, this is on the Great British Pound Canadian dollar, Great British Pound Japanese yen, Great British Pound Australian dollar, the Pound uh, Swiss franc, the pound US dollar and the pound uh, New Zealand dollar, the Kiwi that I just showed you here. And once again, on a one hour time frame. I know some of you already asked, can you do this on other currency pairs? Can you do it on other time frames? You can. I'm simply just showing you one of the simple trading strategies here. Josh Tyson, they might do a little bit different. They may show you other trading strategies and different currency pairs, but this is our London breakout trading strategy and how this is working here. Now, the one thing I'll explain to everybody is that our goal is going after 50 pips per currency pair per day. Now, you're having the opportunity to do this five times a week on each one of these currency pairs. So here's the question you have to ask yourself. Do you think that out of 30 opportunities in a week, do you think you might be able to get one or two of these a week? Because that's one of the things I'll explain to everybody is that you're going to have 30 opportunities, but you're not going to want to take each and every one. Now, that's one of the key reasons about getting into that live trading session because Josh and Tyson, they're going to show you, okay, maybe we're going to take the pound New Zealand dollar today. We're going to take the pound Australian dollar today, but you know there's something in the market saying, you know what, I don't want to take the pound yen or the pound US dollar here today. They're going to help you avoid some of the trades you, that you don't want to take as well. So that's one of the neat things about this. There's 30 opportunities each week. We're going to sit down with you in these live sessions. We're going to teach you and show you how to do this here. Now, as I mentioned, this is part of that live trading club. This is only just one of the trading strategies we're going to teach you as part of the live trading club. Uh, during our January 19th session in that live trading club, we captured 162 pips in that one session right here. And you'll see here, pound yen, pound US dollar, pound Swiss franc, just like that. Uh, let me show you another one here. Uh, in this trading session here, uh, we made uh, 90 to 130 pips. Uh, our students averaged 90 to 130. What we, I actually know, we, our students averaged 90 to 130. As you can see here, we did a little bit better on there. We, uh, uh, three trade wins, we for a little over 100 pips on that one. Yes, students were very happy off of that one. Uh, here's the one from this morning. Once again, the one from this morning on the uh, pound Australian dollar, we captured 91 pips off of that same trading strategy. And once again, Josh and, and Tyson, they'll walk you through these. They'll help make sure that you find out which ones are the best ones here. Uh, actually, Lewis, I'm going to answer that question right here, and Jose, I'll try to answer your question again. Now, here's one of the other things. Our students here saying, Peter Cook says, hey, I did Josh's pound Australian dollar, took it to the limit. Just as Josh said, I didn't move my stop, didn't fiddle with the plan, it was good for 80 pips. Jason Stewart on the pound Australian dollar, he just had his first $10,000 single trade. Uh, if you remember uh, FX Pathfinder, that's Josh from Martinez. He says, thank you, Josh. Uh, Samson Sweeting, he was able to make uh, 1,800 pips in one week with the 2040 trading strategy. That's another trading strategy we're going to teach you live in these live sessions here. So uh, Samson here, he learned it, made 1,800 pips in one week. Now, you're going to be learning from Josh Martinez, but you're also going to be learning from Tyson Clayton. Now, who's Tyson? He's a Forex expert. He has 16 years of trading experience. He's trained 1,000 investors, made 1,000 investments, pro analysts. He's another one of our Forex masterminds. Now, Tyson headed up our, one of our live trading sessions about a week or so ago on February 16th. These are actual students here. Uh, Jude Tuan here says, thank you very much, Tyson. He got 200 pips off of the pound yen and 70 pips off the Australian dollar Japanese yen. Uh, Tony DeSilva here says, hey, Tyson, thank you for showing us the opportunity. Uh, he just closed out with 300 pips off of the pound yen just like that. So real students, real results out of this trading club. Now, a couple of you here, uh, yeah, yeah, Alvina, yeah, these are some of the things here. So for those of you wondering about this, here's the question. Like a couple of you saying, do we have to start at 3 a.m.? 
Think about this. Would you be willing to start at 3 a.m. to capture 90 pips, 150 pips like our students are getting here? Because we have different sessions here. In fact, the one that's coming up next Tuesday, it's going to be at 7 o'clock a.m. But once again, money doesn't sleep. The market rules 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We'll teach you. In fact, Alvina says, uh, do you teach other trading strategies? Yeah, we'll teach other trading strategies, but the London Breakout Trading Strategy, it's one of our bread and butter trading strategies. We do it from, uh, we enter into the market at 2 a.m., and we trade from like 2 to about 7 o'clock during that live session. The one that's coming up this upcoming Tuesday is going to be at 7 o'clock. So, yeah, for those of you who are serious, if you want to get up and start making this type of money or collecting these type of pips during that time period, it's up to you. Only you can make that judgment call in here. So, for those of you wondering how do you get started, here's what you're going to do. You enroll into our live market trading club program. I'm going to send you out the link here in just a second. You do that now. Now, what you're going to do between now and next Monday, when you have your first live market analysis session, you're going to set up your live trading club here. Now, for those of you that are your live trading account, now, for those of you that don't have a live account set up, you can go to forex.com, FXCM. Now, I'm not recommending these. I'm not allowed to recommend a broker. These are just the ones I've used. You can set up a, a live or a demo account through them. And if anything, next week, you can actually start trading demo with us here. Or if you want to set up your live account, you can do that as well. So you're going to do that between now and next Monday. Now, I'm also going to give you access to some video lessons. I'm also going to give you access to what's called our analysts on demand. You're You'll be able to get in live sessions with our professional analysts. Between now and Monday, you'll be able to go into these sessions, go through these video lessons so that you're up and hitting the ground running uh, starting next Monday. So by next Monday, you'll be able to attend your first live analysis session. It's going to be 9 o'clock on Monday uh, Eastern Time. Uh, then you'll be able to attend Tuesday's live market trading session on Tuesday at 7 o'clock. So you'll be able to hit the ground running trading with John and with, uh, with Tyson in these live sessions. Now, our 30-day goal, we back it up with a 30-day money-back guarantee, and we do make this very affordable. Alan's asking how much, Alan? It's less than a dollar a day. I'm going to bring it up here in just a second, but it's all going to be a risk-free guarantee. Our goal is that within 30 days, you're going to be live trading on your own. If for some reason you don't find the confidence in this program, you just decide this market isn't for you, you can easily return this. You can get your full money back. And once again, it's going to be very affordable here. So as part of the program, you're going to get eight live trading sessions each and every month. I just showed you on Mondays and Tuesdays, I believe, is when they do these live sessions. Uh, you're also going to get some special bonuses as part of this. You're going to get the introduction to currency trading. That's four Forex video lessons. You'll be able to watch those lessons between now and Monday. Now, as I mentioned before, you're also going to get 30 days of free access to our analyst on-demand service. Now, this is something, if you've been in our webinars before, as part of our Ultimate Traders package, we include this. We have students that pay thousands of dollars to get access to this. You're going to get 30 days of free access to that here today. Now, for those of you wondering what this is, these are our live professional analysts are in live webinars. They're actually analyzing the market right in front of you here. So I'm actually showing you some of the results from these live analyst sessions, but for, the, for, the, for less than a dollar a day, it's right worth it right here just to be able to get this. Now, as I mentioned before, full 30-day money-back guarantee. You can go through this program, go through these live sessions, attend the analyst on demand, get all this information for 30 days. If in 30 days, if you just decide this isn't for you, you can make that decision to cancel. Uh, if you decide that this market isn't for you, you can go ahead and make that decision. It cancels. As long as you cancel in 30 days, we'll give you a full money-back guarantee. Now, a lot of you are asking how much is the program. Now, normally we charge uh, $297 a month for our students. A lot of students are paying $297 a month to be a part of this program. If you see the results we've been getting, even at $297 a month, it's worth it here. Now, you're not going to be paying that because we have something special for everybody. I normally we're able to offer a $147 a month opportunity. We were told to even go deeper than that here today. In fact, you're not even paying $87 here today. For those of you ready to get started here today, I'm going to send out a link right now. For your first 30 days, you can actually go through this program for $27, less than a dollar a day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send out a link. Let me send out this link here to everybody in the chat box right now. The first step is you click on that link. You register, you enter your billing information, you register for the program, you're going to get a confirmation email, and then you'll be able to log into the back end, you'll be able to set this up here today. So for those of you wondering, uh, a risk-free opportunity, yeah, it's going to be $27, less than a dollar a day, well worth it just to attend those live analyst on-demand sessions here today. So you'll get eight live market sessions, 30 days of mentor analysis, uh, 30 days of the analyst on-demand and the introductory to currency trading videos here, all four 
$27 risk-free here today. So all you have to do is I'm going to go ahead. Let me send that link out once again. Let me send that link out to everybody here in the room. Uh, can everybody just go ahead here? Oh, Mahesh is asking after the 30 days. Mahesh, the neat thing about this is that after the 30 days, I mean, first thing we can do is just concentrate on those first 30 days. If you find the value in the program for the first 30 days, and if you continue, then it's only going to cost you, I think, $87 a month. I think that's what I had up there. So we're gonna, we'll get you locked in. Uh, those of you that choose to continue past the 30 days, it'll only be $87 a month past that. So we'll, we'll save a little bit of money off of that. But what I want everybody to do is just focus on the first 30 days. Decide whether this is for you because you have 30 days to take it for a test drive. You'll probably know after the first couple sessions next week whether this is for you or not, but we'll give you that opportunity, a risk-free opportunity to go ahead and do this here. So here's what we're going to do. Let me review those steps here. The first step is to click on that link. Now, is anybody having any trouble with that link? Uh, I have about four more minutes left here. Does anybody here, uh, is anybody having any trouble with that link? Uh, if you are, I'll send that link out to you personally. But the first thing is you're going to click on that link. Let me pull up the link. Let me show you what's going to happen. Oops. You're going to come here. Uh, you're going to come up to this. This is your uh, where you're registered here to so go over all the details. And once again, yeah, I think it was uh, Mahesh was asking about the uh, after the first month, uh, you'll be billed at $87 for, uh, for every 30 days after that. So when, once again, just focus on the first 30 days. Do you see the value in this program? Can you see yourself moving forward? If not, cancel the program. You'll get your $27 back. So you'll get the live analysis session every week, the live four-hour trading session, introductory currency trading, the analyst on demand, and once again, it's all backed up by that 100% money-back guarantee. You have 30 days to take this for the test drive and see if this is for you. Uh, you enter your billing information, you enter your billing information, uh, and then when you enter your payment information, you place your order, you'll probably be getting an email letting you know. In fact, actually, you can see here, uh, okay, so here's all the details regarding the cancellation and refund right here. So it'll, it'll go over all the details, explain you how to get your refund. Uh, you'll be getting a confirmation email. You'll be getting a confirmation email uh, letting you know you have indeed registered for the program. And then you'll be getting an email that's going to give you the information to log in to the back end. And that's the neat thing about this is that each one of these live sessions, they are recorded. Uh, you can go back over the next week or so between now and Monday before you get started. Go through those live sessions. You can go back through some of them here and you'll be able to see what they're going to be as far as uh, what, so what goes on during these live sessions here. So as part of the program, you get the eight live sessions with Tyson and Josh. Uh, you'll learn how to be following them in the live market as they're analyzing the market and actually trading live. Uh, you'll be able to ask them questions here. Those of you wondering about that, yeah, you'll be asked some detailed questions as you're going along here. Um, once again, you get access to the analyst on demand service, 30 days of access to that. Uh, for a dollar a day, for $27, even if you decide to quit the program after 30 days, it's at least worth it to at least try it out. Go through that analyst on demand service because you'll at least get to try that out and see what our analysts are talking about. Now, as I mentioned before, results. Uh, during one of our live analyst on demand sessions, uh, one of our students made 207 pips by following one of our analysts in just one morning doing that here. A couple other bonuses, you're going to get the introduction to currency trading video lessons. You'll get the analyst on demand. As I mentioned before, everything is recorded. So you'll be able to log into that back end portal today. You can go through the last couple weeks. You can watch Tyson, watch Josh as they're analyzing the market in those live video recordings here. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, here we go. Uh, yeah, once again, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I have about another minute left. I'm going to send that link out one last time. Uh, is anybody uh, having trouble with the link? I saw a couple of you said you're having trouble with the link. Uh, does anybody have a trouble? If anybody has a, is registering, if you can go ahead and give me a quick shout out, uh, letting me know that you uh, you did get the confirmation email. I just want to make sure before I exit the webinar uh, that everybody is able to get the link here. Uh, okay, great. So, okay, everybody's look, going good so far. Great. So, uh, on that note, if anybody has any questions here, uh, yeah, those of you, uh, if I, it gets an error. Okay, so, I knew, it. Here's, what here's what we're going to do. Anybody that's having trouble, uh, I don't have enough, I have about like another 30 seconds left. I'll stick around here. I'm, we'll, bring, we'll bring on our next speaker here in just a second. Uh, type your phone number into the chat box. Uh, we'll, I'll see if I can have somebody call you. Or actually, here's what we're going to do. Uh, here's what we're going to do. Uh, let me pull up the, the actual phone number here. Give me one second here. Let me pause my screen. Uh, let me see if I can quickly pull this up for everybody here. Uh, give me uh, five seconds here. Okay, great. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, those of you uh, that are saying that here, let me log in. Okay, uh, here's what you might want to do. Do a quick screenshot of this. This is our email, cs at markettraders.com. Here's our phone number, 407-585-2407. If for any reason you're having trouble with that link, 
give us a phone call. Once again, 407 585 I'm going to go ahead and send this out to everybody in the chat box because I'm about to I get kicked off here right now. So I just want to thank Investor Inspiration uh, for allowing us to come on here and do this. And hopefully you find the value in this, $27 uh, for 30 days of access to our analysts well worth it here. So on that note, uh, thank you, Travis, Investor Inspiration, and I wish everybody a good day.